Hey guys, this is Celine, and we're playing Final Fantasy VI. The reason why we're starting on this screen is because there's an opening for Final Fantasy VI. So I'm going to be quiet, and we're going to watch it. Well, that was cute. And not what I meant. Sorry, I accidentally went full screen on accident. But yeah, this is uh, Final Fantasy V. Advance. Or six. And of course, I can't change the volume or anything. So I got the final... F I got the volume... On the OBS really low. So let's get started. Ancient War of Mana. When the flames lasted or reached only a chatter. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Remember, this is the Game Boy Advance version of 6. So hopefully it's not as bad as the PlayStation version of 6. But at this current time, uh, the people that are working on the Final Fantasy uh, series, at least the group that worked on 6. I'm pretty sure they were trying new things. There's the city. Hard to believe an Esper been frozen if there for a thousand years after the War of Mana. Blah, probably another wild goose chase. I don't know. They wouldn't. They wouldn't let us near use her if the good information. Oh, yes, our witch. I hear she, whatever, okay. Tara's not a witch. With that thing in her head, she's a mindless puppet. The girl wouldn't breathe, even breathe unless you tell her to. She's being a... Uh, From what I know about Terra in this game, Terra is a halfling between an Esper and a human. I don't think they ever explain it, but think of it this way: if my character. For Final Fantasy, well, for my AU of Final Fantasy, actually got pregnant by Babe, Babe Mont, something like Terra would come out. 
a half dragon, half human. With the power to shift in between the two. Except, you never find out what Esper, as they're calling the summons in this game, is the biological parent of Terra. Or who her mother is. Because I don't know if this Esther is the mom or the dad or the human is the mom or the dad. But I'm using my dragon as a sample. Something like Terra would come out like that. If my character was a full-fledged human. But due to the fact my character is a witch. Because I don't like humans very much. Most likely something different would come out if she actually got pregnant by her dragon. Because remember, the actual witch that gets paired that marries my dragon and has a quote quote daughter with him using her magic and such. If he if her daughter was his biological daughter. She would probably have dragon qualities on her body, like a half, like a full-fledged half dragon, half human. But I don't know, cause I didn't set it up that way. Okay, this girl has a point. Don't waste time on the whatever. Remember what we're here for. And let's move out. So, yeah, we're in a cute little town. I'm looking at a map, and God help me, it's so freaking mal. Okay. In. Mech armor. Not even whatever is safe anymore. And this is the battle. Oh yeah, we're in armor. Because Terra actually uses a sword. Uh. Okay. Well, let's do that one. Mm. And our beast three. Also, Wedge and Breaks are going to show up from now on in every Final Fantasy game as far as I know. At least the classic games. Because I don't see them in 10 and afterwards. I know they're in uh, up to 8. I don't know if they're in 9. Or whoever. Doggies. Uh.
And I basically showed off all the beams, so. That wedge Ed Riggs has. Oh, I can't even go in the shops right now. around it and then, yeah there's this yeah Tara's health was getting a little bit low even though they're not introducing her as Tara right now I believe she's being controlled by, um, uh, someone I don't like. <laughs> Is that a wolf man? No. Well, maybe. And yeah, she's our our actual mage. Cause from what I gather, she we don't get an actual magic user. She's our magic user. She her class is a a magical knight. According to her source, they are neath a, the frozen esper in a new mine shift that they're digging. This must be it. The frozen esper. Shiva? No, I, I know about save points. God, I know all about save points. I wish there were like other save points where they... Yeah, now you're just going to see the, the fire beam because I don't care. Okay. God, this uh guide book for this game is very weird. I'll handle this. Stand back. We are not handing over the Esper. What Esper are they talking about? What the hell is that? This thing is a... They're training it to guard the mines? What are you talking about? You know what this is? 
Have you heard of a light, a lightning walk? It's a monster that absorbs lightning. So it stores, and it stores energy in a shell. Right. So whatever you do, do not attack the shell. Got it. Uh, huh? And don't use lightning. Just point blank, don't use lightning. Oh, well, Tara's dead. And we don't have a Phoenix down, so... <laughs> Uh, Tara be fine. Oh, shit. I actually gotta go slow. I actually have to think about this. Because it's hiding into a shell. Do not strike the shell. Would have been nice to know earlier ago. I know it technically told me. Do not attack the shell. Going back to hiding.
Okay, guys, I'm gonna go get Tara. Because we need Tara. It goes a little bit faster if we have Tara with us. So, hold on. We didn't go very far. It's right here. Da, 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 da. We're not handing over the Esper. What Esper are they talking about? All right, we already went through this. Oh shit, that one's gonna attack. Now it's hiding. Which is fine. Let it hide. Or just simply sit like this because I'm lazy and I don't want to keep doing the one thing. We never use that, so I don't know what it me what it does. Absolutely nothing. And it goes back to hiding. That's fine. I got heal Terra anyway. All right, gotta wait for it to come back. I know this boss is very boring. Or I think it's a mini boss. I don't think it's a true boss, but at the same time, it could be. As a trial by fire.
Yeah, you're doing that. Alright. It was faster with Terra. Because Terra's machine has more options than just fire beam, ice beam, and lightning beam. And healing beam. Okay. Is that Terra? So this is the frozen Esther? Okay, it's a frozen Esper. But what Esper is that? That thing gives me the creep. Something's not right. The frozen creature begins to emitting a eerie light. What? What's? Where's that light coming from? Uh. What? What was that? Wedge? Wedge, where are you? Hey! Hey! What's going on? I think the Esper just, uh, freed Terra. Yeah. The Esper freed Terra. What? Where am I? My, my. I just removed the, and I just removed the crown. My head. Hurts. Easy there. This is a slave crown. The others were using it to control you. It was robbing you of your thoughts, making you do nothing. So you'll do whatever they told you. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll come back to you. In time, that is. A mysterious young girl, born with the gift of magic, and enslaved by the... whatever empire. Terra! I'm not changing her name. My name is... Tara. Impressive. I never heard of anyone recovering that fast. You must be tougher, made of tougher stuff than, than most. Open up. We're here for the mecha armor pilot. Open the door right now and hand over that girl. She's an agent of the Empire. Empire? Mecha armor? There's no time to explain. You have to get out of here. Those fools aren't going to listen to reason. This way, quick.
Up there. Oh, now we can actually attack. See, everyone can use this shit, but she can only use these two. I wish I had a speed up button. All right, save point. I gained a level. Yay. Her health is a little bit better. Uh, I'm sorry, but if she dies, it's game over. I think Sleeping Bags is her version of I don't have a map of this region. And unlike uh, one and two and three, there is no auto battle. Which I think is stupid. Then again, seven doesn't even have auto battle. There she is. Oh, okay, I fell. And I went unconscious.
Kiffa, my sweet little magic user. I hate that clown. With this slave crown, you'll be all mine. Yeah, Kifta's the main bad guy, by the way. Although, I don't like him in this game. I do happen to like him. I like his design and his personality in Dissidia. But... I'm not really fond of what I know of him in this game. Remember, I only played a little bit of it. At least the PlayStation version. Because the sprites were different. So, yeah, it was the PlayStation version. Soldiers of the Empire, we stand at the dawn of a new a age. The lost power of ma magic has returned to us we are the chosen ones the time has come for us to claim our rightful domain over the world nothing shall stand in our way hurrah long live the empire the emperor Emperor, whoever. <laughs> I don't really care. As soon as I can get a uh, back control, I will pause. Took you long enough. Busy with all robbing and pudging, I assume. A treasure hunter. Trailed worn traveler. Searching the world over relics of the past. Locket. He's our second character. I heard the term treasure hunting. Huh, whatever nonsense. There's a huge difference. Anyways, is this the thing you need me to do? There is. There is indeed. I met a girl. I met the girl. You don't mean... The city guard is pursuing her as we speak. The city has the strength to stand up to the Empire, but it will be used. People are too stubborn, independent to join the underground assistance group like the Returners. I tried to explain that to the Empire was controlling the girl, but they didn't even listen. Alright, so you want me to get, get her out of Whatever. That one would be the idea. Make your way to whatever in the time being. No, we got her. Wonderful. There's a huge bunch of them. Moogles, are you saying you'll you want to help? And yes, believe it or not, Koopo, there is a Koopo character. 
use us to protect Terra from the Skarks. Would you like... Uh, yeah, this is a new feature. You fight using three groups of them. Press select to be in between them. Defeat the leader before the men reach Terra, or the battle is lost. Yeah, we're going to do that in the next part. In fact, pause because, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is about 40-something minutes long. But this is just the start of Final Fantasy V, or VI. This is technically, technically VI, but it was also Final Fantasy III in the U.S., or in Japan. So, take that as you will. But, to me, in the U.S., this is the sixth Final Fantasy game in the line. And this is, it is the one I just like the most. You know, it plays more with the espers than anything. I still dislike it. But, it could be the fact I played the PlayStation 1 version with the graphics up update than this one. Because the one thing that turned me away from 6 was the world map. When you went it into the world from a cave or a city, I hated how it went from 2D to 3D. Now, I don't know if it's the same way in the Game Boy Advance version. Because the, the uh, sprites are different. But, wait, I have a freaking site that has all the freaking maps. Why am I on this bullshit? Oh, that's all the experts. Which, speaking of experts, there are, let's see, one, two, three, four Game Boy Advance exclusive espers. Which I will be finding eventually. No, literally, eventually I will find them. But, oh. They give us maps by as we go. Well, this is a lot easier than than what the freak I was doing. It doesn't show me where any of the chests are, but but at least oh yeah, it does show me chest chests. Okay, I saw where I came from. And I'll have to go that way. And... Somehow they got there? I don't know how they got to where we're at, but... Nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a like, comment, subscribe if you have it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!